The search is on tonight for a man who stabbed a woman while she watched fireworks with friends in Falls Church. And the scariest part of this crime, police believe it was random. Horace Holmes live in Falls Church now with the latest on this holiday crime. Horace. Allison, Friday night, the fireworks were set off in the parking lot over here of George Mason High School. The victim was standing over here in the parking lot of that business with her friends watching when the unexpected happened. Police are scratching their heads, calling this a real whodunit. At Sam's Farm? Oh yes. my, I didn't know it was that close. It was the 4th of July, and a 65-year-old woman and a group of friends were standing in the parking lot of Sam's Farm Nursery on Leesburg Pike, police say. The fireworks show was just ending when a young man, according to witnesses, walked up behind the woman, pulled out a knife, and stabbed her. Teresa Wilson was right across the street with her family at the time. I just think it's, it's just so bizarre. I mean, totally random and really weird. Chris Coolidge was also just down the street at the fireworks show. I'm real surprised. Falls Church doesn't have a lot of crime. And this one has everyone stumped. Not only who did this. It's definitely concerning to hear about that happening in your neighborhood, especially when you think of it being very safe. But why? The attacker didn't take anything, and the victim even though she didn't get a real good look at him, apparently doesn't know who he is. Because who just walks up to someone and just stabs them on the 4th of July? Now, police described the suspect as a young man in his late teens, early 20s. They really need some help in finding him. They have very few clues. The victim is recovering from her wounds. In Falls Church, Horace Holmes, ABC 7 News.